Hey, everybody. David here. Uh, I am joined by John. Hi, John. How you doing? How's your afternoon? Hello. Oh, I'm just, I'm just af- excellent. You're peachy keen. Peachy keen, luring the hounds. All I like that it. Jazz. So we're dropping into everybody's feed today for a little bit of a special an, uh, an announcement. Can I say that word? Can I use proper English? We are opening the books, and today we have invited Alicia to join us. Hello. Hi, Alicia. Hi. How you doing? Glad to be here. Yes, good. And today, Alicia is going to be minted a full and proper lore hound as she is deserved. Huzzah! So, huzzah! I am honored. I feel the digital sword on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Arise. Uh, what, what do we do? I don't know. We, we don't have titles for our lore hounds' uh, knighted selves, <laughs> Sarah. Uh, so... We've been working with you, Alicia. I think you and I met on Twitter originally during Rings of Power. Yes. Right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You said, we should invite her on a Silmarillion story. And we hadn't really done guests yet. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm so nervous to bring on new people uh, right away. But then we just brought you on. I don't remember what we brought you on for. I think Mandalorian first. It was because I was uh, sending in voicemails for the Mandalorian. Yeah, the Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you continued to impress with your knowledge and your skill and your uh, your just natural podcast. And you have been you had been wanting to move into podcasting for a while prior to us even connecting with you, right? Right. Well, I was making plans because you know it's not the greatest time to work in text. Um, and right, <laughs> <laughs> shaking the fist at AI in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, my original idea was the Star Wars Canon Timeline podcast that I just launched. Which is so cool. Yeah. No, I'm I'm excited to be doing it. Just uh, recorded another episode with Bob. Uh, But then I decided I needed to practice before that. So I started Wool Shift Dust. I was like, okay, well, Luke and I had been talking about covering um, actually Westworld, but then it got canceled and then it was ripped (laughs) off HBO. Nobody's covering Westworld now. (laughs) Uh, so we ended up going with, you know, it's like, oh, this silo adaptation is coming out and I love this book. I have a feeling you'll love this book. It's cool that you haven't read it. And I have. So that was like launched as, OK, let's let's learn the ropes of this podcasting thing. And then it grew into its own thing on its own. And uh, I was fortunate enough that you guys saw something in it that you invited me to become a part of the network. And it grew from there. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, yeah, we started chatting with you more and on the discord and on Twitter and then having your voicemails and then actually having you on guest podcasts. And, uh, it's been a while now that we've been working and I think just the trust and the relationship has just grown over time to the point that John and I were kind of looking at each other and going, why isn't she a full lore hound? Like it does, it kind of makes yeah, sense yeah. to, to that not That was exactly have what I was of. thinking. Yeah. It, the question turns from why bring her on to why not bring her on. So mm-hmm. then, then we're just like, okay, let's figure this out. And it really, the, the only reason why not to bring her on is we have to do some paperwork. And mm-hmm. then so we did the paperwork and here we are. Yeah. And so the kind of agreement that we came to make sure that you're going to have a, a, a full share in the, the, what profits there are in this business. Uh, we're not the ringer. So, but then, um, we've got it. Yeah. We did all the, the background stuff so that you are, um, you, you have all the rights and responsibilities and, um, proceeds from, from being a full host. So that means you'll be joining us on second breakfast. It means you'll have a Lorehound email address and access to all those resources. We'll make you administrator on the discord server and um, you can be on the feed as a full voice. We, we always had an uh, internal rule that John and I could pursue little side projects and have other guests if we didn't want to cover a particular show or topic. The other could, could go on, but our feed, the main Lorehound feed, always had one of us on it. So there was a kind of consistency to it. And so now with you there as well, you can do that as well. So, you know, if you want to, I think you and Bob are going to maybe cover X-Men. 
That's well, like the idea, I mean, so. uh, whatever the topic I, is, yeah, you no, could be I, on the podcast. I actually, I haven't mentioned it to him yet because oh, it's, it, <laughs> Sorry, <Bob. laughs> no, it's, uh, because, uh, Jean and I would, would be covering it, but it's, Jean might not be available. For yeah. And right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. We love but, Jean. But yeah. the point is we do. Uh, the point being is, is that you are going to have some authorial, control over what right. you want to put out no, on the I, I immediately was like please kingdom of the apes and <laughs> interview with the vampire and <laughs> you are fully within your rights to do that and i have zero interest in either of those <laughs> fair fine you're missing out so are i guess from a, a political governance standpoint are we a triarchy is that an Ooh. accurate Ooh, yes i like I, it do we get like a crown of uh of but it, what bone. kind of leaves is it? Olive leaves? Or I was saying, or bone in driftwood. I don't know. We'll have oh, to. Okay, uh, right. Mm. You know, we were just watching yeah, episode three, it was, of uh, House of the We got to find some general that has grayscale, though. How mm. are we going to do that? <laughs> You're going to have to go out and defeat uh, your enemy in single combat. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Or just drown and be reborn. Oh, that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Yeah. Fair you've enough. got an ocean nearby. You could go do that. <laughs> so Alicia, <laughs> are you ready to give your, uh, inauguration speech? Yeah. I, I <laughs> joked before we started the camera, I joked that, uh, I, I composed a poem for each letter and each of their names. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we were joking that this was going to be a short podcast and we never mm. do short podcasts, but this is actually yeah. probably going to be a, a short one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, um, there's not a, a whole lot to say, just that I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope that uh, listeners are happy to hear. It just means that we can do more, you know? Yes. I think that became apparent to the last couple of months when I got COVID and then I've been on a slow recovery and then John had some other stuff happening with his family. And so mm-hmm. yeah, we really felt the, oh, what if, you know, both of us. So having three people and you were, of course, you were great. You were there for Shogun coverage with us. Uh, and that that really made a difference. And I think that was really when it became apparent. Oh, yeah, we should proceed with this with without much de- more delay. It is time, that kind of thing. And then yeah. we've got Acolyte, because you've been waiting for the Acolyte for a while now, right? right. You're pretty excited Well, now I've been that. timing the Star Wars podcast to coincide uh-huh. with it, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And yeah, I've been uh, yeah, excited for it, but, yeah, but David, you're you're lukewarm on this, it seems like. The Acolyte, I am I am neutral. Uh, I, I reserve the right to be able to drop in any on any pod at any time uh, while you're recording. Okay. Uh, but I am, I am happy to, you know, cause I'd be watching it as a normal fan just as a, mm-hmm. Oh, you know, Ahsoka Mandalorian, you know, it's all good mm-hmm. where uh, Alicia, I think your affinity for what's happening in this, not only in this universe, but in this timeline, I think yeah, you're really it's excited a new, by it. Yeah. Cause it's a new point in the timeline that even in legends, the high Republic wasn't much covered and, and there's just been this new series of books coming out. So yeah, we talk about all of that, of course, in the Canon timeline podcast, but, um, it's just, it's opening new doors to not everything has to be about the Skywalkers. Okay. I love the Skywalkers, but right. <laughs> there's more to Star Wars and we're finally exploring another part, part of the universe. And I love a good, right. Uh, the vibes look good from the, uh, from the trailers. From the trailers. Yeah. And I think John and I had been talking about this a little bit too, as we've matured and grown with the podcast, it, becomes very important, I think, to individual podcasters that we don't feel like we're on the content mill, right? We have to constantly churn out content, Mm. which is a trap that a lot of YouTubers and other podcasters get into. And so then you're covering things that aren't interesting to you and you're, you're producing content that you're uninspired by. And that I think is antithetical a little bit to mm-hmm. what we are here for and what we want to do and why we enjoy what we're doing. And so yeah. if we're able to um, take on different things that are really, that we're passionate about individually, uh, it gives us, we can cover things, there's no problem, but we're not feeling that burnout and that stress of, oh God, we've got to, we've got to do another podcast. Right. We got to, you right, know. Right. Well, it's also great with the, you know, having more affiliates in the fold too is, for example, Radioactive Ramblings. I love Fallout. I love Invincible. I called Invincible not only some of the best animation, but uh, animated storytelling, but some of the best storytelling overall of the year. But I don't have the knowledge in deepish 
passion about it to cover it. So it's so great that there are other people who do, you know, and I can listen to that and we can compliment each other in that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And yeah. we were looking at the boys and it was like, oh my God, how are we going to do this with the Acolyte and House of the Dragon? And, and right. fortunately they're there and Marilyn. And when, when uh, War of the Roarim comes or season two of Rings of Power, you know, that's going to be great because Marilyn's going to be really active and involved. And when we get the DC and MCU stuff churning out, you and Jean will be able to. And yeah. Yeah. I think everyone can have their little corner, you know? Yeah. I'm doing right. all the Tolkien stuff. We have we have uh, guests going on with that because David has sailed off into the West. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Alicia, I think you might come on Silmarillion story soon. Yes, I am going to catch up. And yeah, because I also love that as well. But it's not not enough to host my own podcast about it, but enough to <laughs> tell you why I love it on yours. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm actually working on some interesting ideas too, some movie stuff. I really want to get into some of the the great old sci-fi movies that are real canon cornerstone things. Uh, mm. Talking with Ron a little bit about that. The twenty fifth twenty fifth anniversary of the movie Alien is coming up, so I'm yes. like, Ooh, you know, and the new Alien movies coming out. That's going to be right, a direct Romulus. sequel to that one. Yeah. Yep. And Dune, like I've I've got ideas for Dune because you know Alicia, you and I have to do our first three hour podcast together. So. Right, exactly. <laughs> Only I'll organize three. it. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll do the outline for that one. <laughs> so exciting stuff ahead. You know, Alicia is a full lore hound. Has always been one at heart, but is now officially mm. a lore hound. And, and we thank her for joining us here. It's going to be mm-hmm. a huge help, and I hope the community has a great time listening. I feel yeah. like I have to wolf, but that's because of the diamond dogs. Uh, <laughs> oh, the diamond <laughs> dogs. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, so make sure if you're a patron, by the way, vote in the second breakfast movie poll. We have yes. that up. It's going to be our first one. We're going to be oh, talking yeah. about how we selected those movies. It's a new process now that we have three, uh, but we'll do that on second breakfast. But you got Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Scott Pilgrim versus the World, and Zoolander. Right now, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is in the lead with 42% closely followed by 37% on Zoolander and 21% on Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Uh, if you want to vote on that, you got to be a patron or a Supercast subscriber, so head on to those. Season pass for Hot D. Season if you pass want, for Hot D. If you want uh, House of the Dragon coverage without all the hassle of subscribing to um, uh, Patreon and doing all that, and you want to support us and not have um, ads, get early access and also have access to the show guide. 10 bucks flat gets you our season one recap and all of season two with all those benefits. And then you're done. 10 bucks, you have a forever feed. And yeah, simple. Yeah. Alicia, do you want to do our first, your first ever Lore Master thank yous? Oh, oh. I like it. Do you, you have to send me the do link? You, do you I have, don't it? have it in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, need to Google. Yeah, I don't oh, have boy. it in front of me. <laughs> All right, let me let me send you the thing. Let's let's riff. So our lore masters are our top tier Patreon and Supercast subscribers. They are the people who keep this operation rolling, keep us able to bring on a new team member. So thank you all for your contributions, Alicia. Do you have access to the document? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. This is great. This is great. Okay. Live content, everyone. <laughs> this is how the sausage gets our, made. Okay. So our lore masters are... Oh, first of all, we have to thank our Discord server boosters. Mm. So thank you to Opus in the Machine, Gnarls, Aaron K, Tiller the Thriller, Dork of the Ninjas, and Doove 71 and thank you to our lore masters, Samartian, Michael G, Michelle E, David W, Brian P, Nick W, SC, Peter OH, Bettina W, Adam S, Nancy M, Doove 71 Brian 8063, Discord Dunedain, Frederick H, Sarah L, Gareth C, Eric F, Matthew M, Sarah M, DJ Miwa, Andrew B, Q Young, uh, oh sorry, Kwang Yu, Dead Eye Jedi Bob, Nathan T, Alex V, Aaron T, Sub Zero, Aaron K, Dally V21, aka Dawn V, aka Mountain Dragon, Mothership 61, <laughs> Gnarls, <laughs> yeah. and the last forever end a day, Azarian. 
Discord hey, game. Hey, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. See, I, I know how to sift through David's strange notes on these, but we haven't, <laughs> you're not used to those yet. So. Nope. I <laughs> stumbled a few times there, but no, that's all that's, right. Uh, that's you guys right. have muscle memory on that list. We do. We do. I know. I, I sometimes need to edit out when someone cancels. I mm-hmm. still say their name for a minute because I'm so used <laughs> to just going to their name first. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Alicia. Thanks, everyone, for all this. Really excited for the future. And we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. The Lorehounds podcast is produced and published by The Lorehounds. You can send questions and feedback and voicemails at thelorehounds.com slash contact. Get early and ad-free access to all Lorehounds podcasts at patreon.com slash the Lorehounds. Any opinions stated are ours personally and do not reflect the opinion of or belong to any employers or other entities. Thanks for listening. A new Star Wars journey begins in the place all good journeys begin. At, well, the beginning. This Star Wars day, I'm excited to introduce the new Star Wars Canon Timeline podcast, where we will piece together the complete story of that galaxy far, far away, in timeline order, from the dawn of the Jedi through the great unknown following the sequel trilogy. This is a podcast for both Star Wars superfans and complete newbies. Listen to the short intro episode now to hear how it works and what to expect over the coming weeks as we set the stage for the new television series The Acolyte, which we will be covering with weekly breakdowns. Subscribe to the Star Wars Canon Timeline podcast wherever you listen to take part in one of the most epic and expansive stories ever told, following all the twists and turns from start to finish. May the 4th be with you all, all month and beyond.